do you think Nigeria should become a Sharia nation? That is my ambition and that is the ambition of every Muslim in, the, in, in this country. So welcome back to my YouTube channel guys. Uh, in this particular video, we want to look into a very serious question and this question has lingered. Trust me on this, it has lingered. A lot of persons are asking, is Nigeria being Islamized? Can Nigeria be Islamized? Is the Islamization of Nigeria actually possible? And all of these questions actually are begging for answers. And well, so while I might not provide you with a direct answer to the question, like telling you, yes, Nigeria has been Islamized, or yes, Nigeria can be Islamized, or yes, Nigeria has been Islamized, I simply want to uh, share two video clips with you. And then from these two video clips, I will want you to make out something from them, right? So after watching the two video clips, make up your mind or decide by yourself if Nigeria can be Islamized, if Nigeria is being Islamized, or if Nigeria has been Islamized, right? So this is a video clip by Egboma Yegun in one of his YouTube videos where he actually in interviewed a guy from I think Africa also and the guy exposed a lot of things so in this particular video clip also guys I'm going to try as much as possible to uh, show you what Islamization actually means if there are countries that has been Islamized also and why they were Islamized and then also I will try as much as possible to share my screen and show those countries to you right but before we get into that just take a look at this particular short video clip longer Islam though for them the prop the the, the, the the vision for Nigeria is for Islam to triumph mm. that's the understanding for them the destiny of Nigeria must lean toward Islamic revolution that is the the elite the agenda of, I'm not talking about the ordinary people on the street who no. know what's going on mm. but the elite that was the thinking of Usman Danford. That was the thinking of Sir Amadou Bello. That was the thinking of all this elite that came up. All right, so welcome back. I hope this video clip actually passed a message to you. So let's get to see countries that were once Christians and are now Islamized, right? So right here, I asked ChatGPT uh, a simple question. List of countries that has been Islamized. Right, I said they were once Christian countries. ChatGPT said Egypt was a center of Christianity in antiquity. Egypt experienced a gradual Islamization process starting in the 7th century AD with the Arab conquest. Today, Islam is the dominant religion in, in, in Egypt, obviously. So, and that country also is Turkey. So, Turkey is actually very common. So, every one of us knows that Turkey was completely a christian country before now and then of course uh turkey is currently an islamic country so chat says formerly known as anatolia and a significant part of the byzantine empire turkey underwent a transformation from christianity to islam after the fall of constantinople in 1453 it was the center of the ottoman empire which was predominantly muslim syria and of course we have Lebanon, we have Albania, we have Bosnia and Herzegovina, we have Malaysia, we have Indonesia and guess what? We have Nigeria, right? So it says, historically, there were regions in northern Nigeria with Christian populations. However, Islamization efforts and demographic shifts have led to significant Muslim majorities in some parts of the country. So this actually is eye-opening, right? So I went further to ask ChatGPT, why were these countries actually Islamized? And ChatGPT says, number one is conquest and expansion. The early spread of Islam was facilitated by military conquest by Arab armies in the seventh and eighth centuries. Islamic caliphate expanded their territories, conquering lands that were predominantly Christian or inhabited by other religions. So apart from conquest and expansion, we also had trade and cultural exchange that is uh, buying into themselves, uh, buying and selling, uh, marrying and all of that and stuff like that, right? So we also had uh, social and economic incentives 
in some cases, right, according to ChatGPT, converted to Islam provided social advantages or economic benefits. So literally, these guys were actually giving out money, giving out uh, uh, free land, right, and a lot of other incentives just to lure, just to entice people to join Islam. And of course, we also have a political and ruling elite as we currently have in Nigeria, right? And of course, we also have religious appeal, assimilation and integration, demographic shift, and syncretism and adaptation which of course is uh, making the religion more acceptable or more relatable to the indigenous population so can nigeria be islamized the answer definitely lies with whatever it is that you can make out from all of the things i have read to you is nigeria currently islamized the same answer also lies with you right so let me go ahead now and play the complete uh, clip for you guys to watch uh, from Egboma Egun's blog and of course uh, one other clip I got from Twitter which actually are very heavy. I mean the allegations, the revelations are actually eye-opening guys and I wanted to make out something from all of this. So let's get right into this guys. Thanks. And the second thing I want to say, the forces, the internal forces that are working in African countries are against the people. If you look at Nigeria very well today, you can determine the future of Nigeria by looking at the forces that are controlling Nigeria. What are these internal forces? One, the religious group. I grew up in Northern Nigeria. I went to school there. I was born a Muslim. I studied the Quran. I went to, if you have been to Niger State Mina, if you know the institution called RET, Islamic Education Trust in Mina, controlled by Sheikh Ahmed Lemu. Those are the people that brought me up. They gave me scholarship. I went to that school in New Horizons College. I'm a, I graduated there. I learned the Quran. I was a Muslim until I started traveling and I decided to put religion aside. What I saw in Northern Nigeria is that these people were colonized twice. They were yeah. first colonized by the, by the Sokoto Caliphate through the Islamic Revolution. They were still under that colonialism that the British colonialism came. So they are not in alignment with you in the South. You don't understand. They are operating under two influences of colonial culture that they have inherited. One, they inherited an extreme version of Islam called Wahhabism, which even Saudi Arabia is trying to ab ab abolish and, uh, and embrace mod modernism, modernity. This northern Nigeria inherited an archaic, outdated Islamic view in, that came from Baghdad and Saudi Arabia those days. They inherited it. And it is very much entrenched in their culture. They do not believe in, in, in Nigeria as long as they, do, they are not on top. As long as Islam, do, for them, the, prop, the, 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 the vision for Nigeria is for Islam to triumph. That's the understanding for them. The destiny of Nigeria must lean toward Islamic revolution. That is the, the elite, the agenda. I'm not talking about the ordinary people on the street. They don't know what's going on. Mm. But the elite, that was the thinking of Usman Danfodio. That was the thinking of Sir Amadou Bello. That was the thinking of all these elite that came up. The design, when they took over the army, you don't understand why they influenced the army in Nigeria. Their vision is to lead to an Islamic revolution. Now, for you guys in the South, you had only one colonialism, which is the European. That's why there are people, Chris, John, Johnson. When you when you are tired of European colonialism, you fall back to your culture. They don't have no culture to fall back to. Hmm. What's your name? I'm a Mr. Baba. Huh? A Mr. Baba. What local government? A local government. Where are you, where are you from? I'm from my turn. Where am I? To, where are you from originally? From, 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 from where? Kaduna State. Kaduna State. I'm Al Kadimondi by name. Okay. Yes, I'm from Kaduna State. Okay. I'm living with your brother. With your brother. Yes. And you are coming out under what local government? Lagos Island. Local government. Yes. Do you have a family house in Lagos Island? No. Okay. What's your name? Luka David. What? Luka David. Luka. David. Where are you from? Agnostic. What local government are you coming out for? Who gave you the indigenship certificate? What's your name? Zakaria Arab. Where are you from? 
Katuna State. Katuna State. Ah. Uh, Lagos, Lagos, Where did you get the indigenous ship certificate from? I'm staying with my uncle, so I don't think. Your uncle, speak up, please. Yeah, I say, I'm staying with my uncle, Nathanael Bonnetown. Shogwa Yoruba. 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 Hello, Fuani certificate. Hello, Fuen. Hello, Fuen. Hello, Fuen. Local government, you know what you are? Hey, stop it. Kilo Rukwe. Kilo Rukwe. What's your name? What? Oh, speak up, please. Where are you from? What? Kaduna. But you're coming out from one local government. Oh? Talo for any certificates? Kilo Rukwe. Mbolungbe. You don't hear Yoruba. What state are you from? Kaduna State. Talo for any certificates of indigenous ship, Lagos State. Bring it and let me see your indigenous certificate. That paper that they gave you from the local government. Huh? Where is your. Let me see. Yes. Show me this. Who show the local government? One by one. Who show the local government? Most of them cannot speak Yoruba at all. I don't know how. Where's the second one? Also from Osho, the local government. I want to know how it has been um, done. Thank you.